Hello and welcome everyone to the final episode of the Super Hero Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. Win or lose, this will be the final episode. Uh, today, we take on Diantha, the champion of the Kalos region. Whew. It has been a long journey, but we have made it to this point. The question is, was it enough? Are we ready? We are still missing Xylia. Total bummer, but the rest of the team is looking great. David has been rocking it lately. All right, so Diantha, I don't, oh, I mean, we have to be ready for her. We have to be ready. The tricky part, to me, the trickiest hunter for Pokemon is her lead Pokemon, which is her Howlucha. Howlucha is just tricky. Right, because it has that flying press move, which is both flying and a fighting type move. It's like the only move they decided they were ever going to do like that. For now, just you wait. Uh, it would not surprise me if they did more of that in the future. But anyway, that's the lead. The other problem is that, of course, as ever, at least three members of the team are weak to fighting. Uh, that's Chloe, Oduong, and Fatterhorn. And then Xerxen, not weak to it, but neutral. And then Davin is, of course, resistant. So it makes the most sense to lead with Davin. Davin's also going to be good against... I think she has a Gudra. And she has... what? Uh, she has both the fossil Pokemon. So the Tyrantrum, is that what it evolves into? Right? Tyrant, is that the big one or the small one? I don't know. She has the big T-Rex guy. That's part dragon. So all of those are Moonblastable. Right there, right there, kaboom. Then she's gonna have Aurorus, and I think she has the pumpkin thing. Not too concerned about that. Chloe you can fry that, and then of course her Gardevoir, which will mega evolve almost definitely, or will definitely mega evolve right away. Um, but then we have Xerxen for this, for that. That's gonna be her big moment, is the Gardevoir. So. I think we're just going to lead with Davin, try and get rid of the Halucha nice and easy, and see how the battle progresses, and we'll have to make some calls on the fly. But here we go. This is it. The doors are open. We're walking in. We're doing this, people. Let's go into the Radiant Chamber. Look at this. Oh. Woo. You think that's the throne? Nope. They have a whole throne room they don't even use. They got one. They got an elevator up to the secret throne room with its ethereal curtains. Oh, looks like you might step through the veil. Hi, champion. Do, 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 do. Welcome at last, dear Shreya. I think you must know I'm the champion, Diantha. Oh, but you, you are the child I spoke to in Lumio City and Corvarin City. Oh, yeah, I remember when they set this up with that one conversation she had that one time with Lysander, and you were like, oh, she's a movie star. Turns out, she's also the champion. Exactly. Why not? What a good setup. That was a joke. Oh, here she comes. With her big Halucha. You can even see her mega stone right there in her necklace. That's a nice touch. I'll give him that. There it is. Fortunately for her, we have the mighty David. Bwah, bwah, bwah. With Fairy Aura. Here we go. All right. Have a moon blast for your face. Oh, it's going to Swords Dance. See? That's scary. I don't like it. Maybe we'll just knock it out and it won't be a problem. Cause slam. Yes. Okay. Whew. That makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> Was there ever any doubt? And she brings in Tyrantrum, which is kind of a surprise move if you ask me. I'm just gonna Moonblast it cause it's part dragon and it just seems like why would she even bring it out? Like, normally the champion's better about not just throwing in the next thing. Boom, boom, two down, just like that, four to go. Thank you, David. Oh, Ross, she's just going straight in a row here. Um, okay, so now we can either continue, we can probably, I mean, Moonblast probably do quite a bit of damage. 
We could also probably horn leech this thing because it's part rock, part wall. The ice is probably resistant to the grass. Um, now, who else would be really good here is... Uh, our Durant Duong. Because the rock and ice typing is going to be doubly weak to steel. And he can obviously just iron head it. FT dubs. Um, let's see. We could just mega horn it. Well, or we could just moon blast it. I mean, who knows? Also pretty easy. Also going to do a lot of damage. Let's see how it goes. Let's just moon blast it so we don't have to risk anything on the switch. We'll see how it, what it tries to set up on us. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's going to use reflect. Oh, you sneaky sneak. Okay. Well, I don't love that. I wonder, is it like a double screen or is it going to try and light screen as well? Should we set up? Boy. <laughs> it would be, <laughs> what a fight this would be if we just sweep with Dave in one through six, right? That'd be nice. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. She's going to use reflect. The question is, is she in the range of full restore or have we kept her just out of it like is she gonna go for some big attack here the other thing is if we switch to duong now now reflects up and obviously moonblast will do it so let's just do it okay there you go she was not in full restore range she does have the reflect up sort of a bummer Moonblast is so freaking good. Why are you bringing this thing in? Like, hey, it's a dragon. It's gonna get wrecked. I'm definitely just gonna Moonblast this one. This is maybe the easiest champion fight we've ever had thus far. Knock on wood. Damn, go to 67. Mm-hmm. Yep. Here we go. Gorgeous. Okay. So this is part ghost. So part of me thinks we could switch to, well, I mean, we could just mega horn it though, can't we? <laughs> He's too good. David is too good. Oh, let's just do it. Mega horn, sublam. Oh no, that did not do very much at all. What does trick or treat do? Ghost type was added to David. So now I'm fairy ghost. Hmm. Okay, so it's probably gonna use a ghost type move then. We can probably pretty easily. Switch if we wanted and try and set up real quick. Like we could throw up a swords dance or something for um, Xerxen. I guarantee you it's gonna use some sort of weird ghost type move. I could also switch to, well, eh, no, I was gonna say we could switch to a uh, Fatterhorn here if we wanted. And that would not be hit by an incoming blow, but of course we couldn't. Well, we could bulldoze, because we did give Fatterhorn bulldoze, but that's not gonna do much damage to this thing. Should we switch? Because if we switch, we can get the crunch off, but then, I mean, that'll do it for sure, as would Poison Jab, I think. And we wouldn't have to like waste the switch on her Gardevoir. Uh, is that worth it? Let's try it. Let's do it. Here we go. Big X. <sighs> Xerxen's out. Phantom Force. I think we're going to go first. Right? And... This is a weird move. Um, if we're faster than it, this is a free setup. Right? Okay, so as long as we don't die right now which we didn't okay i was gonna say because like <laughs> that was a crit <laughs> that was a crit okay now it did crunch now we have a swords dance oh yes 
to be in prime position now for this Gardevoir. This is it. This is our last Pokemon. We have a Swords Dance up. I think we just go for the Mighty Poison Jab, right? Let's double... Okay, the thing is... She's going to be weak to both of our best attacks. We are going to, before we just make any dumb mistakes... Let's see. That one does 80. That one does 80. Okay. To me, that makes Poison Jab the better move because they could also poison her. Anyway. Here we go. Could we do it? Could we one shot? And here it comes. Mega Gardevoir. But will we be faster? Will we be faster? Oh, just like that. It was, it flew down. It was so strong. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Victory. <laughs> oh man. She put up really no fight at all, did she? My goodness. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. She got like one attack off or something. The Phantom Force, it did nothing on a crit. Nice mega evolution animation. But uh you couldn't handle the poison jab. The old the old Ooh, I just punched the microphone. Victory is ours! We are the champions, you guys. We did it! Witnessing the noble spirits of you and your Pokemon in battle has really touched my heart. Jonathan rec Jonathan received 16,000 Poke Bucks for that victory. Ah, uh, yes. Get out of my throne room now. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I live here now forever. Uh, I'm so chucked up that it's hard to know what I should say, but I, I'm just so glad at this moment that I was good enough to be the champion. After all, it gave me the chance to meet and battle with you and your wonderful Pokemon. Now I understand why dear Augustine, Professor Sycamore, said he needed to get Lumio City ready for the new champion. Before I take you there, wow. Throwing shade, wasn't he? My dear Jonathan, would you mind coming this way with me? We win. Oh, the elevator goes even higher. Oh, we saved. Good. Oh my goodness, here we are. I'm so glad to welcome you in. This grand chamber is where you enter the Kalos Region Hall of Fame. This is where Pokemon trainers will live on forever. Oh, the Hall of Fame. Let's do it. Come Jonathan, your love for your Pokemon and the way those Pokemon gave everything they had in battle for you. We'll record them all right here for eternity. We do you love how the only Pokemon we lost in the Elite Four was to the was our water and ice type to the fire type trainer? <laughs> that sucks. But Xylia will still make it into the Elite Four. There's David. There's Big Fatterhorn who's been with us since the beginning. And Chloe, the mighty bodyguarding lion. Durant, the Duong, the late, the late edition, Xylia fell valiantly in battle. And the team leader, the big purple hugging scorpion, Zaxxon. Congratulations on becoming Pokemon League Champion. Yes, congratulations, team. We all did it. Oh my gosh. Wow. What a playthrough, you guys. What a playthrough. We had a lot of, I feel like, I felt like the deaths were particularly bad when they happened this time around. Like, someone said this was one of the, fewer deaths in a playthrough i don't know i felt like it happened a bunch crowds of people gathered in lumio city to celebrate the five defenders of the kalos region the five what what did those dumbos do i am afraid not i will give it to wine gums in the back for helping a little but the other the other three i don't, I don't know mm-hmm yeah Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe two of us. Maybe two of us. 
What an amazing turnout. All these people are here to celebrate your achievements. Yes, yes they are. We are great. I'd like to present you with the honor of Kalos for the bravery. Okay, whatever. I'm so proud of you all. Oh, 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 oh I'm yawning. <laughs> uh, whatever, dude. Thank you. I think there is like one more tiny, tiny battle we have to do before the end, the end. Right? Like, does an AZ show up? Yeah, there he is. Mm hmm. I remember the first time this happened and being like, no, what? But I don't think he ends up being uh, that hard. Battle with me. Yeah, okay. 3,000 year old king dude. You'd think for being alive as long as he has been that he would have better Pokemon. Oh, hear me. You are challenged by Pokemon trainer AZ. Wouldn't it be hilarious? I mean, I guess let's not let's not count our chickens before they hatch. Uh, Torkoal. If this guy secretly had like level ninety Pokemon, and even though you thought you beat the game, you were like, oh, whoa, um, Moonblast. Oh yeah, oh you made it. If you burn me. Oh, you did. Good. The infamous burns from Lava Plume. It's like such a high ratio to burns. But a boom. But it did. The opposing Torkoal fainted. Yep. Get out. Mm hmm. Are you even getting experience for this fight? It doesn't even look like you are. Uh, I'm just going to keep moon blasting stuff. This to me doesn't really even count as a fight. It's just sort of like ceremonial, right? Mm hmm. Siglyph. Oh boy. What an annoying Pokemon. Do -do 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 oh, cosmic power. Oh, you're so impressive. Siglyph. I, it, like, flying psychic types. I don't know why I don't just use them. They are always such a hassle for me in game. How many even are there? Two? Like, Zaytu and Siglyph? Yeah, I don't know. It seems like weirdly good typing. Who's there? Oh, there. End of fight. Thanks, dude. Thank you very much for battling with me. Now I finally feel free. Free from the part of my mired and sorrow, the part of me that was the ultimate weapon, that built the ultimate weapon. You feel free because I beat you in battle? Didn't you kill like half the planet? Ah, oh, but look, it's a happy ending after all. I guess, yay for you. <clears throat> La baby. Man, his arms are super long. It looks weird. Oh, how happy. Oh, Floet, not Flo baby. My bad. My bad. Is it shiny or do they just come with different colors? I don't know. I don't know what the evolved form looks like. It's been 3,000 years. Man. It's crazy that this Pokemon actually comes back to life, though, isn't it? 3,000 years later? Whew. Whew. His Pokemon was waiting all this time. Did Pokemon ever really die? The man who loved Pokemon thought that. Yeah, okay. All right. We get it. We get it. The end. Da -da -da. <laughs> ah. Roll credits. Oh my gosh. There it is. There it is. We did it, you guys. Game over.
Oh, man. That this has been such an undertaking. Like the I, like getting up to or to record this. Typically, I just get up early in the morning and I'll just play this as like the first thing I do. <laughs> uh, so not every day am I always like so thrilled to get up and do it, but you guys have made it super fun and it stuck with me to the very end of it. This was a much longer series than anticipated too. Normally the Nuzlocke ends at about 30 episodes. This one I think hit around 40, maybe more. I can't even remember the number anymore. Uh, we've had, we've also been having to record it differently than I did my old Nuzlocke with the, um, we happened to get this 3DS with the video capture card built into it just before they stopped making them. I say they, it was like a third party company and I think it was just, there was like a, a particularly well-known site that did it and they just, they stopped doing it for whatever reason. We barely got this one in. If we didn't, that pretty much would have been it. We couldn't have um, done it like this that I'm aware of. Um, man. It's been, it's been fun. And then Luke picked the starter for this one, little axe way back in the day. Uh, uh, man, that was really fun too. Uh, I feel like that was the best way to choose a starter, like Sword and Shield's about to come out. And I feel like I just wanna, maybe I'll let him, maybe I'll let him pick my starter again, you know? You know? Uh, whew. So if you're wondering what is next, um, I don't have another Nuzlocke planned just yet but i do have some other like pokemon challenge stuff that i am working on presently so there should be some more pokemon action coming at you soon also if you're really interested um i imagine when sword and shield comes out i will be playing it a lot and probably streaming it a lot so if you're interested we are on uh twitch it's just the super carlin brothers channel on twitch and you can go check us out there because i have a feeling that's going to be awfully time consuming for me and yeah i'm not sure if i'll have like one continuous playthrough it might just be because the other problem is that i don't want to like limit myself to only playing whilst streaming so people might just be have to catch up in between stuff i don't know not really here nor there oh man that was fun. This is one of my favorite. You and I were born right here in the same world. When Pokemon X came out, it was like um, probably the most fun I had playing a Pokemon game since like Leaf Green and Fire Red came out. Uh, and those were really so much fun just because they were like the updated version of Red and Blue. And they're probably still my favorite ones to play through. But this one in particular, uh, I don't know why, it just really... It really felt like they were doing a good job like resetting everything for like the next generation so i don't know it felt like playing uh going into a new world again but i really loved the um the mega evolution stuff we never had a mega someone who could mega evolve on our team well we had members who could have but we could not take advantage of the mega evolution sadly that's about them there's a fragile bud of hope blooming in each of our hearts don't you take that away our dreams aren't meant to be shared are meant to be shared <laughs> let it grow let it live let us see what it will bring i can't i can't hear the music i don't know if there's if this is a song or if this is uh <laughs> these are just sentiments from the people in the game oh man let me know in the comments who was your favorite mon throughout the series uh, we also had the um, the Excel Gore in this one. That was fun. The first time we've ever completed a trade. Uh, I liked that. That was a neat part of it. It was it worked out because it wasn't like a traded Pokemon that gained extra experience. Um, I guess another question I'll have for you guys is: Are there any other like Pokemon kind of Pokemon videos you'd like to see? Um, I know there's like a big trend in the world of Pokemon YouTube right now doing like a can I beat this game with this set of rules or this one Pokemon or whatever so if anything like that seems uh, like it'd be fun to watch let me know 
or any suggestions. The other thing we'll probably be working on more now is our Sims series. I'm excited about that. The uh, that's not Pokemon related. It's uh, we're playing The Sims with the Hogwarts founders right here on this channel. If you haven't seen that yet, we're only about six episodes in, but it's been a lot of fun already. Man, David might be the most OP team member we've had in quite some time. Maybe since Chandler, uh, our ho o back in the Hard Gold playthrough. That was sometimes the Pokemon they gift you are uh, pretty pretty strong, pretty strong. Uh, I wasn't really planning on using them so much throughout the Elite Four, but it just worked out that way. Anyway, looks like our credits are just about done rolling here. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We hope to see you in the uh, next Pokemon challenge, whatever that happens to be. Hopefully we'll see you on the streams and uh, until then. Bye.